I can't put it on the... I better be able to put this thing on the table. That does not match the floor. God, you fucking... He dupes me so good. Look at this. The backflips. Jesus. Why, why can't I put it on the table? Fuck you, cockroach. Why can't I put it on the table? Right in the middle. Fuck this well. That's... That is bullshit. That I can't put that on the table. Wow. Yeah, take that. Cockroach. I see, now Olivia knows how to give somebody a gift. Look at this. That's not a bad... That's not a bad couch. I can get behind that. I have a fruit theme going on, apparently, so I guess I'll keep the watermelon table, maybe. Maybe I'll just sell the orange chair and stuff. I don't know. I like this, though. This is good. This couch is... It gets to stay. I like it. I'm going to sell the watermelon stuff. I'll keep my axe, because I don't really want to lose my axe. I should probably actually put that away. I should put everything I'm not going to use away, real quick. And by away, I mean on the floor. Oh. Oh my god. There's such a learning curve in this game for patience. It's like, if you do things too fast, the game doesn't follow your inputs. Alright, well... Let's sell some shit. We're gonna sell this. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that. We need the orange chair. We don't need the watermelon chair. And we'll also sell this. Thank you, Tom. Alright. Let's go and uh, visit the museum real quick. Let's see, we're missing fossil wise. I think everything that we got just now was something we already had, so. Not super thrilled about what we got from the fossils. God, there's so many dead trees for no reason. This game. Like, it can't just let it happen. The game will not let me fucking have this perfect town for 15 days. I don't even care. After the 15 days is up, I don't give a shit. If the town rots, it rots. I wish you could donate all the items in your inventory. Just like, select them. I know we have Amber. I'll double check anyway though. I should make a list of what I do have and keep it beside me for this very reason. It takes forever for him to fucking explain that I already have it. No, it's very... Amber's fantastic. If only you had the money. I wish I had money too. Sadly, I only have 19,000 wing wings in Animal Crossing. We have a dinosaur egg. I think we already have that one too. Awesome. Well, while this guy doesn't doesn't stop talking, I'm gonna find my water bottle. I'm gonna take a drink of water because this guy talks too much. All right. I'm pretty sure we already have this one too. God damn it. What are we missing? I know it's not much. We're missing like part of the Stegosaurus, I think. 
I think maybe part of the T-Rex. I don't know if we finished the T-Rex. I think we're missing, like, its tail or torso or something. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've played this game. Like I said, we missed all of October, which I don't think there was anything important fish-wise in October, but there might have been some bugs. But whatever. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we're missing the tail. We have all of the T-Rex. Missing the left wing. We're missing all of the Triceratops, pretty much, except for its head. We're missing this thing's head, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, so we're missing like two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. Six pieces. Six fossils. Also, another thing I want to say about this this Animal Crossing series is once there's nothing happening in a month, like if if nothing is going to happen. As in, like, if I know that I'm not going to get a fish or a bug within that month, or I collect all the fish and the bugs within the first little bit of the month, I'm probably not going to record any more Animal Crossing for that month. So it'll probably just be normal stuff happening on the channel. I might bring in, like, a smaller, quicker series to fill in the, the fifth slot, the ninth and tenth video. But... I probably won't be uploading Animal Crossing if I don't have anything to record in Animal Crossing, because they- I don't want to just be doing nothing in the town and have nothing to talk about, like just walking from villager to villager. I don't mind shaking trees and having conversations with you guys, but just talking to villagers and stuff gets really boring. So if there's nothing happening in the game, I'd like to kind of stay away from playing the game. Because I know that it's going to be very boring to watch and it's going to be very boring for me to play. But at least with shaking trees and stuff, I'm making money. And I can go buy things. And once we fill out all of our money- Let's actually- You know what? I have a goal for today. We'll see how much money we make from these trees. I'm not going to plant anymore. I don't give a shit about that golden axe right now. We'll come back to it. Golden axe, we'll come back to it. Yeah, let's see how much money we make off of these trees, and let's see if we can pay off our our house. Make our house a little bigger. I kind of want to pay off all the debts as fast as possible right now. Let's see how much money I can make. I also want to fill up my basement, though. So maybe I'll fill up my basement first. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm shaking all these peach trees first, though. Collect my small paychecks first, and move into the bigger ones. And I'm pretty sure there's no fish that I can catch in October. I'll double check. I will be playing this game again this month, I'm sure. But I will double check once I am done recording today. I will go look up on the Animal Crossing wiki or whatever and see if there's any fish that I'm missing. Look up a quick walkthrough. Because I know most of them were, they were mostly October or December fish. I'm pretty sure they were December fish. And the ones that were in October could be caught in December or something. I don't remember. But it's something crazy like that. Like they're all really bunched up. They're all winter fish. Basically. Except for maybe like one. And I don't know if that fish is good and gone now. I don't know. We'll see what happens, though. We'll definitely see what happens. Regardless, I have to wait for, like, a long, long, long time just to collect all the rest of the bugs anyway, so... That's gonna be a journey and a half. Selling fruit has to be like the best way possible of making money. It doesn't look like it right now because I'm selling peaches, but... Eventually, once we get to these oranges and cherries and pears and apples and... Whatever the fuck the other stuff is. 
oranges. We will be making some big dollars. I don't know where that fruit was. I don't know where the other peach tree was. Might as well start plucking these at the same time, too. Not that I really need to. I might as well. I'm sure we'll run into that other peach tree eventually. I think it was like down on the other side of the river. But... Whatever that bug is, I don't think we've had that one before. Oh, it's gone now. I would have caught it if I had a net. But I don't have a net, so I can't catch it. It's a cruel world. It's a very cruel world. If you're wondering why I'm only selling the peach trees right now, it's because I want to get rid of all the small money before I start collecting all the big money. Feels better that way, I guess. Seven thousand five hundred dollar paycheck makes me feel better than this like petty ass fifteen hundred dollar paycheck. I also kind of have to keep an eye on time though. Cause like I said, I do have to do that driving school thing today. It's going to be very very exciting, I'm sure. I have like another probably hour before I have to go. I have a good solid hour. The driving school isn't actually that bad. Like they do a good job of making it entertaining and not super dull and boring. But that being said, it is still it is still school. You still have to sit down and be talked at for a decent amount of time. So. It's like three and a half hours of why is this bad, <laughs> basically. If it is a red light, why is it a bad time to stop? I mean, keep going. It's a good time to stop. Why is it a bad idea not to stop? Probably because there's other cars doing other shit going the other way. So you're probably going to get hit. It's amazing. God damn it. Peaches. Did I get all the peaches or something up here already? I mean, I know I came down here, but did I get all of them? I got most of them, apparently. I got one more tree. Where's that other one that I already shook? It's like all the way down here, isn't it? Oh, my memory is fucking fantastic. This happened like 10 minutes ago. It's a long time. Yeah, I'm really glad that I can start uploading and stuff again. Like, I feel bad not uploading videos when I can't upload them. It's like a part of my life is missing. I mean, doing this for like two years, once you get into a rhythm of uploading and out hitting and stuff, and all of the all of the bad things mixed with the good things of YouTube, kind of becomes part of your life. Not saying that as like a if YouTube one day broke down, it would be the end of the world, but. It would definitely be sad. I would find another way to upload videos to the world. I would use a different, different uploading thing. But I like YouTube. YouTube's a good one. I mean, streaming on Twitch, maybe one day, but... I don't have a big enough following, I don't think, to start streaming and stuff. Like, if I start streaming, I want to stream to an audience that is more than five people at a time. Like... I don't know. I could stream it and keep the video 
of the stream and then upload it to YouTube when I do stream, but... I don't know. I would have to have something that I want to stream, though. Like, that's, that's the big thing. I do have a Twitch account. Like, it's not like I'm not set up for streaming and stuff. I could even stream on YouTube if I really wanted to, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that option got taken away. Where the fuck are the rest of the peach trees at? I know I didn't get them all down here. There's no way. Back down to the beach. Son of a bitch.